Hey everyone, this is Seth, and welcome to the Raptors Uprising Gaming Channel. Today, we're going to talk about moving shots on NBA 2K22. So in this video, I'll be showing you how you can make the most of the open space you create by taking these moving shots at free point range, which initially seems very difficult to do, but there's a way in 2K to kind of manage this, so then you can become pretty efficient at it. As long as you have the correct animation, you will actually find a lot of success taking the correct type of moving shots as you can see me do here online with two different you know, moving shots jumper that is very good in this game. And the two of these animations are first, you can have the uh, dribble pull up Trey Young and that's gonna give you moving shots, dribble pull up animations. And the second one you want for dribble pull up is the normal one. Now here you can see the Trey Young one in action and this one has got a very nice kind of side drifting kind of action. It would definitely help you trigger badges like Circus Freeze or Blinders because of that side lean. And this shot is also very easy to time. Now, but if the Trey Young isn't right for you as you've tried it, you can also try the normal dribble pull up. And this normal moving shot or leaner, it's so the, the motion is so dramatic, it actually kind of looks like a fadeaway and it creates a lot of space as you drift away from the defender. So let's take a look at how you can trigger these. Now let's begin by normal. Now between the two, this is the easier one to trigger. So as you have create open space, hold turbo and push the left stick in the direction you want to go. So in this case, to the left. And when you get to your spot, continue to push the left stick and hold turbo and hold square at the same time. So left stick is pushed, turbo is held down, hold square until you feel like you get to the green window. And because of the nature of this jumper, it's pretty easy to green as long as you're open like that. And at the same time, because of the animation, you're going to get open by jumping away from the defender. Now with the Trey Young leaner or dribble pull up, this one is a little bit more complicated to trigger, but it's not hard. So same thing, create separation, hold turbo, push the left stick to the spot you want to go. So in this case, to the left. So continue to hold turbo, push the left stick. But when you get to your spot, let go of turbo now, but still push the left stick in the direction you want to go and hold square. So to shoot the Trey Young one, you need to push the left stick and hold square, but no turbo. So once you get to the spot with turbo, let go of turbo, push the left stick, hold square to shoot, and then you're gonna get this Trey Young dribble pull up moving shot animation, which is very good at triggering blinders and is a little bit faster than a normal. So overall, you definitely need to use one or the other. Like it's either Trey Young or normal. Any other animation, if you take the shot, it just doesn't move as well and they don't jump away from the defender. Some of these, like if you go to like a uh, Pro 2 or something, it jumps straight up. And you don't want that, right? Because if you jump straight up, the defender will be able to recover from you. But if you get either the normal dribble pull up or the Trae Young, you're constantly jumping away from the defender. With normal, the more, much more exaggerated one. But Trae Young is kind of like faster. Personally, I prefer normal. So I suggest try that first. And if you're already good with normal, then you can just stick with it. But if not, you always have the option to try out the Trae Young for yourself. So. Try this out. If you got any questions, leave it in the comment section. Enjoy these. I guarantee it will help you make your moving shots. And I look forward to speak to you guys again very soon. 